Hi everyone, this is the Michael Myers Fanatic back with another movie review. Friday the 13th, 2009. It was written by Damian Shannon and Mark Swift and directed by Marcus Nispel. I thought long and hard what I was going to say about this movie. The movie is a reimagining or a reboot, retelling, whatever you want to call it. And it starts off in June of 1980 with Mrs. Voorhees killing all the counselors. And there is one counselor left and Mrs. Voorhees is basically telling her, you need to be punished for what you've done. The counselor says, I didn't do anything. And she cuts Mrs. Voorhees' heads off and Jason's watching this. And then Jason hears the voice of his mother and she, she says, they must be punished, Jason. Kill them for what they did to us. Kill for mother. Jason grows all up. The rest is history. Then when Jason's grown, a bunch of out-of-towners, I guess you could call them, all go to Camp Crystal Lake in search of weed. And they are all dispatched by Jason. And then you have Clay Miller, he's played by Jared Padalecki, and he's looking for his missing sister, Whitney, played by Amanda Rigetti. This is my gripe with the movie. Remember when I told you guys that Jason killed everyone? Well, he did. Except for Whitney, and he kidnaps her. This is my gripe with it. I'm fine if you want to take someone's concept and make it your own. Because that's what they tell you in show business. They say, take this and make it your own. I'm fine with that. But it's just that when you change too much of something, you change its very essence. And to me, they've changed the essence of Jason Voorhees. They've changed everything that made him who he is. Because Jason kidnaps this girl. And I'm wondering to myself as a fan, what was he feeding her all this time? Because she was missing for six months. So what was he feeding her? Jason doesn't go out to get food. I don't know, I just felt like something was missing. And if you get to the music, you know, the iconic Friday the 13th sound effect. Kick, 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 ma, ma, ma. That, you know, you guys know the noise. <laughs> that thing. But anyway, they have that in there, but it, it just doesn't sound right. It sort of sounds watered down. And I guess they did that for copyright issues. I'm trying to think of a way to explain it to you. I'll just put it this way. I once heard a character say on Boy Meets World, this is Mr. Feeney talking. He told Corey Matthews, I'm going to give you a C. Corey says, why are you giving me a C? Mr. Feeney says, well, I'm giving you a C because I like the idea. I like the fact that you put in the effort. You just didn't think it through. And that's what we have here. I appreciate the fact that they wanted to bring Jason back. They just didn't think it through. They didn't sit down and think, now, what did Jason feed this woman for six months? Because he doesn't go out among civilians. So what could she have possibly been eating? They didn't think that through. They didn't think it through to say, how can we do this soundtrack a little bit better without running into copyright issues? They didn't think it through and say, well, why would Jason kidnap this girl? Jason doesn't do that. That's not Jason. He doesn't have any prisoners. He kills people. That's what he does. He kills. Now, I will admit this as a fan. If you enjoy Hot Girls, this is the perfect movie for you. It's perfect. Because there's a scene where you meet a bunch of them and they're playing a drinking game and the guy, what's his name? Um... Chewy, played by Aaron Yu, he's drinking out of a shoe and all that stuff, and that's all, it's all good. You meet Jenna, and she's 
played by Danielle Panabaker. All hot girls. But to me, it's like this movie just lacks substance. It seems almost as if they took a guy, put him in the mask, and said, you're Jason. But they took away from him everything that makes Jason who he is. Jason was running, and then some of you may say, well, Jason runs. Yes, he did, in the first couple of movies, and then they took that away. And then you'll say, well, this is based on one through four. Yes, but... Jason doesn't kidnap people. This is not Jason. Roy looked more like Jason than the other Friday the 13th Part 5. He looked more like Jason than this guy does. It was just a very incomplete movie. Like I said, they didn't think it through. It's about a, a guy looking for his missing sister that was kidnapped by Jason and they were underneath a tunnel. Jason doesn't do that. Michael Myers does. If anybody would do something like that, he would do that. So, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. There were certain scenes in there that didn't look quite right. Like there was a scene where, where a guy said he was going into music and the girl says, well, what are you going into, rap music or something like that? And it was a very weird comment. And then there was a scene where they're all in the house except for Lawrence. And he says, help me, help me. And they all leave him outside. Since when? They always stuck together in Friday the 13th movies. This is not a Friday the 13th movie. I don't know what it is, but it's not Friday the 13th. You have Jason kidnapping people. You've got Jason coming in the house. Jason doesn't even live near houses. He lives near cabins. And you've got the survivors leaving each other to be killed by Jason. They don't do that. The only time they ever did that was when they went to Manhattan. And they did that because of what the uncle did to the little girl by pushing her in the water. So I don't know what this is, but it wasn't Friday the 13th. And if anybody's offended by this review, I'm sorry about that, but I'm not sorry for having an opinion. You took away everything that made Jason who he is. And you've taken away the very essence of Jason Voorhees. When you take away the sound effect like the kick, 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 ma, ma, ma. When you take away the classic music that Harry Manfredini brilliantly composed. Then you've taken away Friday the 13th itself. If you guys want to follow me on social media, the links are down below in the description box. Thank you very much.